So we were just sitting here chit-chatting. Right, little white word? Okay. Well, we were talking about a lot. Superheroes. Random, right? And my top two, probably gonna be Spider-Man and uh, Batman. Okay, here's the thing. He's portraying the League of Shadows. You know this? Yes. He ain't a Superman where he's an alien. He's a regular dude. But now he looks like he's basically Iron Man's flunky. The Joker. You have to get that right. I could whoop that dude's butt. And I'm regular. As far as really bringing awareness to mental health. He's a murderer. Maybe he's just a bad person. Not everybody is crazy. People. No, that's... You knock me all upside, man. Oh! Me, I don't... I'm not mean to people I don't know. Maybe somebody He's just mean to the people that he does know. Even if Dan, I'm not a mean person. Okay. Well, I get it. Because you said I'm not mean to the people yeah. I don't know. No, like, I'm not mean to people I do know. I'm just saying. Like, oh, so you mean to people you don't know? No, I'm just saying. Especially the people that I don't you. know. I'm definitely not mean to them because I don't know them people. I mean, they don't, you know, especially if you're nice to me anyway. I'm not going to be rude. Certain people are just rude. I'm not going to say it's just Houston, Texas. Houston is everywhere, but. Goes with the driving. So you say rude, and I just automatically think about the driving here. I'm sorry, if you're from Texas, Houston particularly, you know, look. They know. They have bad drivers. You know, I'm not trying to bash your, you know, you know, I'm not lying. I'm not saying anything not true. Come on, this is bad drivers, let's be honest. You know, since they've done the social distancing, a lot of people aren't working and everything. Of course, the traffic has thinned out tremendously. Which means you're getting to your destination faster. So and like and yet you, you have people still want to do 80 and 90 on the freeway. And I don't know if you're just excited because you have all this room to drive like that. Or if you're just so used to drive. I just, no you know, you have some people doing 90 and then you have some people doing 60. And I'm like, you can't have people doing 90 and the other people doing 60 on the same highway. They don't, it don't. Can we just all agree to do a nice even set? You don't need to do that. It's the it's the there's no traffic. That's you what I'm saying. Need to do you don't need to. You don't need to do eighty. You don't need to rob people's butts. You don't need to do any of that. There's no traffic. Just chill out. Yeah, chill, chill out. Did I? That's why accidents happen. Excuse, I'm from Tulsa, man. Excuse. Yeah, I mean I don't be out here driving or nothing, but everybody just calm down. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just calm down. Okay, mm -hmm. Carter, Carter, Carter. Mm -hmm. It's just like you're a little emotional, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's okay. What's wrong with you? That's it. All right, so la last topic I want to talk about. We're kind of jumping ship here. But I want to ask you two things. First thing, what do you think about all these celebrities or even just regular people coming out and announcing that they have tested positive for coronavirus. For instance, somebody compared it to this, and I agree. Somebody said, why are these people coming out saying that they have tested positive for coronavirus like they're saying they tested positive for like AIDS or something? What is the fascination with the, the big announcement? Do you think that they're attention seeking or do you think that they're just trying to spread awareness? What, what, do, you, what do you think about it? Well, Both. Both. You know, I just think it's excessive at this point. I mean, celebrity or not, you know, if you have it, I wish you well. Take your meds, get your rest, get your little orange juice. Do what you need to do to be better. You know, some people want to share because they want to help. Like, this is how I felt. Be aware of these symptoms. You know, that's fine. But people who are doing these videos, especially these celebrities, it's just kind of, it, now it's starting to be like, this theatrical thing and it's like are you glad that you have it mm -hmm. or i mean what do you, do you want, want a, cookie? a cookie what do you want for saying oh you know i did some you guys be sick like yeah, the money to be okay or something. and then the other part of that was okay so i've been seeing where there's a lot of youtubers donating money and sending like care packages and doing a lot to take care of not just like their their subscribers or their fans but just anybody in need and when i say they're like giving money like they're they're like cash apping like hundreds and thousands of dollars a lot of these youtubers 
I haven't really seen any celebrities do that. I'm not saying that none are, but I've seen celebrities like say, oh, donate to this fundraiser or I donated this much money to blah, 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 you know, but I, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below, find me on Twitter, tell me if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen a lot of celebrities just help like one-on-one -on -one people like, I'm going to cash app you this much money. I'm going to send you toilet paper. I'm going to send you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't seen that attention like I have from the YouTuber community. Yeah, I agree. Have you seen differently? Or do you feel like you've seen more from YouTubers? Not really. I don't, I don't see much from them either, but there are people out there that's doing stuff. There's a lot of stuff with celebrities just doing stuff, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got celebrities doing these live concerts and doing stuff like that, like on their Instagram lives, and that's great that you're trying to provide entertainment to these people who are stuck at home bored. No, there's a lot of people that donate money to, like, people that can't work and stuff. Yeah, but, like, they're donating to, like, fundraisers, and, like, I'm donating to this charity, and that, you know, you know what I mean? And it kind of comes off as, well, are you donating to the charity because you want to help, or are you trying to get a tax write-off? Sure. Not, not to say, I don't really know how that works. You know, could, could, look, what I'm saying is, you know, you have people, these celebrities donate to these charities, and it's kind of like, are they doing it just for the tax write-off? Now, not to say, could a person get a tax write-off from donating through, like, Cash App? Could one say that, you know, it's the same thing? I, I don't, I don't know. And I'm not saying that the celebrities who are donating to these charities are being disingenuous. That's not what I'm saying. I, I'm just saying that I've made kind of the observation that it seems like YouTubers are giving more personalized help. I mean, look, help is help. Help is help. But it just really shows who appreciates their supporters more. When you have people like Jeffree Star giving away thousands and thousands of dollars a day, and I'm not saying that everybody needs to do that, but I'm just saying people, you know, are so quick to turn up their lips to someone like Jeffree Star, they call him everything on their son, and yet here he is really helping single moms, really helping those with sick parents, you know, you know, He's just one example. It's many of them, but, you know, what, what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, people should do more like that. Personalized. Yeah. I mean, people will be lying about that stuff. But what, lying about helping? No, lying about being... Oh, about lying something. about being in need. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it's like, you know, look, my whole thing is, yeah, you have to be careful of scammers on both ends. People who say they're going to help and people who say they need help. Anybody could be lying. But at the end of the day, if you help someone and your heart is in the right place and you help someone who didn't really need help, that's on them. You know, God saw your good intentions and they also saw them rob you of help for another person. So you can't really worry about it too much. You just have to do what feels right to you. Exactly. And, and just do the right thing. Now, if they're lying... That's that's not on that's not on you. Your good deed does not go, you know, unnoticed, especially in the eyes of the the Lord. Okay. Agreed. Hallelujah. All right. Any anything else you want to add? No, I'm good. Carter, you. Okay. All right. So um, that's all the rambling that we're gonna do for right now, you guys. If you have any opinions or debates, epiphanies about anything that we discuss, I know we were a little all over the place, but that's what we're here to do—to be all over the place and include you in us being all over the place. So please be all over the place in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for coming. Come follow us on all of our other social media. Go ahead and check out the latest episode of ER3 Podcast over on Podbean. And um, wash your damn hands. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, subscribe, thumbs up, post notification bell. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Card is your fault.